Well, cool. all right, so what we have, ladies and gentlemen, is the angle negative 2 pi over 3. And what I want to do is, is um, you take this angle to, to evaluate my six trigonometric functions, uh, which are going to be sine, cosine, tangent, and then the reciprocals, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. So the first thing I want to do, though, is evaluate which point um, is it going to be on the unit circle? Because if I can find where the angle intersects the point on the unit circle, I can just use the x and y values of that point to help me evaluate my trigonometric function. So first of all, I need to be able to determine you know, where is this angle negative 2 pi over 3. Well, remember we started at our initial side. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of break this up. And since I'm dealing with a denominator of 3, I'm going to break up my, I'm going to break up my circle, my bottom half of my circle, into thirds. Because if I start here and I go all the way around, we know that's pi, which would be 3 pi over 3. And remember, we're just going in the negative direction. So if I have negative 2 pi over 3, that's going to be this distance right here. That means I'm just a second um, pi over 3 off. So I'm just pi over 3 off the x-axis. So if I want to look at it and say, you know, all right, well, then what is this point? Which of this point is a reflection of which one of these points? Well, I look over and I see that that 60 degree angle is a reflection of pi thirds. So therefore, that is a direct reflection, because if that's pi thirds off there, it's also pi thirds off of this x-axis. So therefore, it's a direct reflection of my point 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when I'm going to evaluate this point, um, I notice that in the first quadrant, we know they're both positive. But in the third quadrant, we also need to represent that, I guess I should probably write this over here, 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2, that both of these points are going to be negative when talking about uh, the second quadrant. So therefore, those are going to be my two coordinate points. And if I'm going to evaluate for the sign, uh, we just want to be concerned about the, uh, the y value, which is going to be negative square root of 3 over 2. The cosine represents the x, which is just going to represent negative 1 half. And the tangent is going to represent negative square root of 3 over 2 divided by negative 1 half. Now, we can just multiply by the reciprocal in our denominator. Uh, once you get kind of good at this, you can just kind of eliminate uh, those twos. And we also know that our two negatives divide will make a positive. Therefore, that's going to multiply out. And we're going to be left with the square root of 3 will be our final answer. When dealing with the 1 over cosecant, that's going to be 1 over my y coordinate, which will be negative 3 over 2. Again, I can just multiply by the reciprocal. So it would be 2 over negative square root of 3 times 2 over negative square root of 3. Well, that now multiplies into 1. And I'm left with 2 over negative square root of 3. But again, I cannot have my, um, I cannot have my square root in the bottom, so I'm going to rationalize the denominator. And therefore, my final answer is a negative 2 square root of 3 over a 3. Uh, moving on to secant, that's going to be 1 over negative 1 half. If you want to multiply by the reciprocal, that would be negative 2 over 1 times negative 2 over 1. So therefore, that again multiplies the 1, and we're just left with a negative 2. Uh, dealing with the cotangent now, um, one thing you can always do is you can always just take the reciprocal, which is negative 1 half divided by square root of 3 over 2. All right. Or you could also just take the reciprocal of this answer. Since, the re since this answer is square root of 3, you could just take the reciprocal of that. And you'll see if you take the reciprocal, which would be 1 over the square root of 3, it's going to be the exact same over here. Because now, oh, that's a negative. No, those both, these are both negative. So that's going to be positive. So it would be 1 over the square root of 3, which is exactly the reciprocal here. But then we need to make sure we simplify our answer by rationalizing the denominator. So we get square root of 3 over 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you evaluate your six trigonometric functions when given an angle in the third quadrant. Thanks.